Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Rosie and one of you asked me to mention and share natural products that I use for skincare. So in this video, I want to mention things that I use that are natural that you are able to find at the supermarket or that you can find online. So I'm going to leave it in the description box. So I'm going to be mentioning oils, masks, makeup products that I use for my skin. And everything that I mentioned is cruelty free. So without talking anymore, let's begin. So this is what I use at nighttime and in the morning when I want to cleanse my skin. And so I have rose water and I already made a video on how you can do rose water from home if you want to do a toner with lemon or apple cider vinegar. So I'm going to leave that video for you. And the other one that I have is the apple with cider vinegar, which is also in that same video. The only difference is that I added a little bit of vitamin E oil so that when I spray this on my skin, it's also going to hydrate my skin at the same time. So depending on the type of skin that you have, you could use half apple cider vinegar and half water or a little bit less. I tend to do it a little bit less because if not, I feel like it dries my skin. So I just do a little bit of apple cider vinegar and then the rest water and a little bit of vitamin E oil. And so this is what I spray after shower when my skin is clean and in the morning. Or sometimes I use this one, a combination of each. So I use either or or a combination of both. Next, what I have is lavender essential oil. And this is so beneficial if you have acne prone skin or also if you wanna protect from UV rays. And let's say your foundation doesn't have solar protection, then in that case, I recommend lavender oil. And it also helps to get rid of bacteria. So it cleanses your skin and protects from the sun. So it's really awesome. And then the other one that I have is tea tree oil, which is great if you have a pimple and you can put a little bit of oil straight on the pimple to get rid of it. So I love this. The other one that I have is vitamin C serum. And I like this to get rid of acne spots. Or if you have sunspots, then this is great. It also helps to avoid wrinkles or if you already have wrinkles, it helps to minimize them. So it's a really clear consistency. And once you apply it to the skin, you have to massage it kind of quickly because it dries up really fast. And then just make sure to hydrate your skin because if you only leave this on your skin, then it will dry it up. And then the other one that I have is rose hip oil. I love this to hydrate my skin, to get soft skin, to get rid of spots. And again, if you use this oil, just make sure to hydrate your skin. If not, it can dry your skin. Okay, the next oils, vitamin E, which I love using on my body for my legs, my arms, and sometimes I use it on my face. So I really like this for soft skin. And then if you have acne prone skin, in that case, I recommend castor oil, which is great for that. It softens and nourishes your skin. This is a great oil to apply to your eyebrows or your eyelashes if you wanna help them grow. And I also noticed that if I apply this before my makeup, it's great because the consistency will help the makeup to stay on and not glide away like it just helps it stay put so i really like that and the other one that i have is olive oil but i don't recommend this if you have acne prone skin this is a better oil for those who have dry skin and i love using this on my body or my hair to do like a hair mask and i apply it with other oils so it's great for shiny and soft hair i love it and another oil that I have is jojoba oil. I feel like this one is more popular, like more people have this one, and it's because it's really similar to our own natural oil that we produce. So this is a great oil for the skin, the hair, the body, and it's not too oily, which is great. 
So before I continue, I just want to mention that I use a combination of these oils. It all depends on what I feel that my skin needs for that day. So some days my skin will feel dry. So in that case, I decide which ones I'm going to use and other days I feel like my skin feels normal so it's kind of like the same when we eat we don't eat the same thing every single day we crave different things and I try to treat my skin the same way so depending on my skin needs for that day that's how I decide which ones I'm going to use and I try to buy organic and natural products Okay, as far as face mask, and I already shared a video on how you can do from home, so I'm gonna share that video. But one of those, one of the masks that I have is the Dead Sea Mud Mask, which helps as a cleanser, it reduces pores, and it helps to clear acne. So I love using this on my skin and even on my boyfriend, and he loves this. This smells wonderful. And then the other one is the clay mask. I feel like this one a lot of people know about, but this is something that you can either mix with water or the apple cider vinegar that I just mentioned. And once you apply this to your skin, it will dry up and you will feel like it tightens your skin, like it's pulling out all the impurities from your skin. So it's really great. As far as skincare, one of the brands that I highly recommend is Osea. And I love this brand for being cruelty-free. It's vegan, it's organic, and they use the best ingredients. Right now, I have this set, which is perfect for traveling. And it brings everything, the cleanser, the hydrating lotion, the toner, and a small bottle of oil. So this is a great brand and I'm already running out as you can see. So this is one of the brands that I prefer using. And as far as makeup, one of my favorite brands is 100% Pure because they use fruit pigments and they use organic ingredients. And everything that I read on the ingredient label is so natural, which not a lot of brands exist like these out there. So I really love this brand. Right now I have the foundation, their black eyeliner, and the blush. And they have so many shades to choose from if you want to get the foundation the only downside is that it's a little bit expensive if you're looking for a brand that's more affordable in that case i recommend pacifica and this is available at target there's another brand called pixie so that's another brand that you can try so far from pacifica i use their perfume i have the blush i have the mascara and the makeup primer which helps to control oil so i love this brand i love the packaging it's so cute those are two brands that i like using i hope this video has been helpful and know which items to use depending on the needs of your skin and anything that i forgot to mention then i'm going to add it to the blog post of this video and again these are items that you can be able to find at especially Whole Foods if you live in the United States. If not, then either way, I'm going to add it to the description box. I love buying online. Let me know in the comments section if you use any of these or if you have any video ideas for me, then let me know and I'll make the video for you guys. Thank you so much for watching as always and I'll see you in the next video. Kisses. Bye.